We're gonna goof off on the channel a little bit today, blow off some steam and uh, shoot a stick bow here. I'm going to be shooting here various different ways at various different distances just for the fun of it. I've not been doing trad archery very long. It's new to this channel and new to me. And uh, something that I've learned already is that you can't please everybody. That's for sure. Because if you hold your bow vertical, you got people telling you to cant. And then if you're canting, you got people telling you need to hold it vertical. If you're snap shooting, you're telling people, oh, you really should aim and anchor. And if you're anchoring, people are telling you, hey, that's just not the way you're supposed to do it. So. I'm going to mess around today and play with all sorts of different styles between three under, split finger, canting, and vertical and shoot it at various different distances at this uh, spot here on the target and uh, see what I can do and have a little bit of fun while I'm at it. You're watching the Jake Minsky YouTube channel. All joking aside, I think it's hilarious and great that traditional archers are so passionate about what they do. There is always their way to do it, which is definitely the best way to do it, and that's totally fine with me. I'm okay with that. I think it's great because what I've learned so far in trad archery is there is literally no wrong way to do it unless you're not doing it the way people want you to do it. So uh, I decided why not goof off, shoot a few different ways. I'm going to shoot basically four different ways. Uh, split finger and three under and then I'm also going to shoot both of those with a vertical bow and a canted bow and I'm going to start here at 10 yards and once I put three arrows in the yellow here at this distance this is a uh, 40 centimeter face once I put three arrows out of my six in my quiver at this distance with that given style I'll do another style and continue and if I get all four at this distance here I'll go back to 15 and maybe to 20 so I don't know. I'm just going to goof off, shoot some arrows, have some fun, and uh, see how it goes, and hopefully please everyone and no one all at the same time. I haven't shot in a while, so forgive the shakes that I'm sure will, uh, will happen. So I'm going to start with three under vertical, as you see. And it's not really vertical, it's mostly vertical. I got one in there. There's two. I haven't warmed up, haven't practiced, haven't done anything. I did a little bit of kind of dynamic warm up to get going, get the blood flowing, but that's it. I think that's three, but I'll keep going because I got six in the quiver. Go check them. Technically, I think I had four, maybe three in there. Because uh, one, the target's kind of ripped up a bit, so it shifted a little bit on that last arrow, which still touched the yellow. Uh, so maybe four, maybe three in there. So we're done, 10 yards, three under vertical, so uh, let's do three split finger vertical as well. Now the bow feels a lot less happy this way uh, because I think the knocking point's a little high, so it's kind of not tillered, but my fingers are more where the bow is happy when I'm three under, so that's why I haven't really been doing split finger. Plus I like just the simplicity of grabbing the string, but you guys have been asking for it, so here it is. I think I already got one in there. Maybe two or three. There's definitely at least three in there now. go see same deal there four out of six here at 10 not expecting anything different to be honest so now for all you Howard Hill fans out there I'll set the uh, the shelf and the rest in a V like many of you have requ requested uh, I'll start with uh, why not split finger we'll just go for it 
see what happens. I've definitely played with it a little bit, full disclosure, and you gotta really get under the chin with the hand, otherwise the arrows go all over the place, not at all where you're hoping them to go. And obviously the string runs into the chest a little bit for clearance wise, because you're holding it at such an angle. So I'm gonna do my best to hold it at quite the angle. Obviously I don't do this often, uh, as far as the canting is concerned, because I've held my bow basically straight my entire archery life, pretty much. With the exception of, up until this point, maybe 30 shots in my entire archery career have I canted my bow like this, previous to getting this bow here. Maybe four shots, maybe. All right, so canting, split finger. Definitely realize there is not much in the way of any sort of anchor with this style. Don't know if they're supposed to be. Uh, and uh, I definitely haven't done any Howard Hill research other than I know he was a beast. One. Two. Three. I think I got four out of six there as well. So, so far, one round to each. I think my luck's gonna be running out here shortly. For those of you that wanna know what my bow build is, this is a uh, JT Traditional Archery Zeus in 66 inches. It's uh, 41 pounds at 28 inch draw. My draw is just over uh, 29 shooting Olympic style, so obviously the draw weight here is varying today, peak draw weight, and uh, I love this bow. This thing is awesome. Uh, John hooked me up with this thing and built it just for me. I didn't request colors or anything. I gave him freedom, and this is what he came up with. The only request I had was a very low, flat styled wrist uh, grip on it, similar to how I shoot my recurves, because that's just what I like. And my arrows here are some uh, Axis traditional uh, Easton arrows, Easton Axis trad arrows. They're 400 spine, too stiff. I got the, they're full length. I got the brass hit inserts in them. And I think these are 125 grain points. So they're better, they're flying better than what they were as far as the, uh, the flight and stuff is concerned and the bear shaft compared to just shooting the aluminum inserts with 100 grain points. So anyway, uh, Canting three under. Gonna have to make some adjustments on this one. Two. Maybe three. Go check. So I got all uh, three and a half, maybe four of that one. Again, pulled lines, ripped target, whatever. But at least there was three in there. Three touching the yellow at minimum. Definitely one was still touching the yellow, but I argue target was stretched. I wouldn't have gave myself the point in practice. So back here now at 15 yards. I'm gonna do the same thing all over again and just kind of keep playing and having a good time. So hopefully everybody's happy or most of you are happy. I'm sure there's somebody out there that shoots totally different style. Uh, thumb draw, I haven't done thumb draw, bow, arrows on the wrong side of the bow and I'm not shooting off my knuckle. So that'll come with time, so don't you worry. We'll start with uh, the vertical bow again. I'll just do it in the same order every time. Told you my luck was about to run out. I'm gonna try that one again. Might have to make it to the red on this distance. 
I've been super busy uh, playing catch up on getting rid of a whole bunch of other workload stuff so that way I can do this archery thing a lot more uh, serious and full time. So I have not had really any time at all to be practicing. Uh, I've just decided to prioritize other things. So today's the first day in quite some time to be able to get out here with this, this trad bow and just kind of have a good time. So I've definitely learned that practice and doing this uh, more often than not is critical to being able to be, you know, adjust in distances and be dialed in like that. One. Two. Ah, it was close. So 12 arrows in here at 15 and I've only hit two out of those 12 in the yellow. Maybe we'll modify it to do three golds before moving on to the next style, but I don't know. Just messing around, playing around with a game. I think uh, more practice is needed before this is a, uh, a given thing for sure. I think maybe I needed a pie tin down there, paper plate. I think we're just gonna do it when he hit three golds. I'll do the next uh, style. Still, I've only hit two out of 18. Still don't think that one's in. I think that one got it. I'm gonna go see if I got one. All right, so I got another gold, so that's three. I think I did it on the 21st arrow. I think it was a third or fourth arrow of that end. So either 21st or the 22nd arrow here at 15 yards. Three under vertical, no cant. Split finger now, and uh, hopefully I get it, hopefully I get it done much faster. So I got one down there, one out of three. Hopefully I get this done here at 15 uh, before my camera downrange dies. At least two. So I had uh, three or four in that one, so it took me eight or nine arrows because that first one was right on the line edge and may have been in, may have been out. All right, now uh, split finger canting.
three, I think. Go get him. All right, so I think that was on the fourth arrow. So I got four out of six on that one end, which is awesome. Now, uh, canting three under. I don't know if anybody shoots a cant with three under, but. Now obviously each one's very different and uh, I can hear and see the arrow flying differently you know because it comes off the bow funny sometimes I can hear the feathers really dragging and hitting and I can even smell them and it's leaving marks on uh, the rest pad here so obviously it's affecting all sorts of things and I'm having to compensate like crazy to make things work. not like that. Three. I think so that would be 15 arrows. That is if the first one's in. Why change something when they were working, huh? Well, hopefully I got all three there. In a tournament, I would have called that in, but uh, for the sake of this, I want to make sure that it's in and not have any of you naysayers out there say anything, so I'm going to make sure I put one more in there. There, definitively in. So that would be 21, arrow number 21. Both seems happier split finger, I'm gonna do that. It's crazy how slightly different changes from split finger to three under, canting, not canting, makes quite the difference in the way the bow reacts, the way the bow feels, the way the arrows fly, the launch angle off the bow, it dramatically affects it. And it's, it's pretty interesting because you definitely have to make some compens compensations because when I go to split finger compared to three under canting, the arrows go way higher uh, and then higher and to the right. And when it's three under, they go lower and to the left. Uh, vertical, not so much of a difference. It is just a vertical difference, not so much of a left and right difference. So obviously because the bow is canting, you know, compared to vertical, vertical variance is up and down, canting up and down relative to the bow also moves it left and right relative to the world. So it's just fun. And uh, you know, this was a little bit of a blow off a steam, some steam moment and just kind of enjoy shooting some arrows and having some fun and I'd like to continue doing this and going back to 20 but uh, I think it would take a very long time keeping three out of six in the gold or at least getting three in the six three in the gold here on a 40 centimeter face at 20 might take me some time just switching around like this being unpracticed so between that and uh, my camera downrange my phone basically dying at this moment uh, I'm gonna run out of time to continue shooting this footage and I'd rather end it knowing that I can end it as opposed to 
hoping that the battery continues to last because then I'll be rushing shots and doing all sorts of different wonky things. So I'm gonna forgo that and just cut it here at 15 yards. It's not very far, pretty close shooting. Um, but like I said, just messing around, trying the different styles because I started with a cant and semi snap shooting and now you know, so many people said you should anchor, hold the bow vertical, tried that. Now, full on Howard Hill, V style canting. Sometimes obviously, especially towards the end, I was canting less and less. Uh, I don't know, am I supposed to cant a lot? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do or should do other than just have some fun. So that's the whole point of shooting these kind of bows, I think, because it seems like you can't do it any wrong way. And uh, I had a little bit of fun today. I hope you did too. And uh, yeah, let me know if you enjoy this type of trad content, just coming out here shooting some arrows, because uh, it was actually quite enjoyable. If you haven't yet, do hit that subscription button and the notification bell. Genuinely, that helps this channel out. And if you don't hit that notification bell, you don't get notified when I upload new content. So uh, if you're interested in continuing to see content released on this channel from technical stuff, traditional stuff, form stuff, tuning stuff, all sorts of different things, uh, just be sure to hit that notification bell and uh, you'll get notified when I upload those new videos. Thanks.